Hello everybody, it's Farm Some Guy here. Hope you're all doing well. We're back on Bull's Gap and we are just sorting out a few odd jobs around the farm. These eggs have been sitting here for a while now, so it makes sense to go and get rid of them. Um, always a nice little earner and every little bit helps at the moment, so let's put the straps on those so they don't roll off. Now, plans for today. First and foremost, avoid the horse. We are in the process of cutting the corn in the field at the top of the hill here so we will drive past the combine uh, we're going to get that finished um, the sunflowers look like they're on the verge of being ready so I'm kind of hoping by the time we finish the corn that they'll be ready to go and we can just bring the combine straight back down um, the sunflower seeds are just a cash crop we can sell those straight away so I'm interested to see what the price is like at the moment we may hold on to them, throw them into the silo, or we may just get rid of them. But there you go, there's about half the field left, maybe just a little bit less than half of that field left. Um, there's the combine. We've got the corn straw as well to bale, which we will do because that is quite lucrative. As you can see, the uh, the Mac there with the uh, Wilson trailer on the back, which we will use to ship it down to the distillery. Now, when we put that corn into the distillery that will fire everything back up and we will be in the process of uh, producing our uh, whiskey again which is always relatively lucrative as a process right let's get these out of here drop them there they'll take a few minutes just to sell and there we go about four and a half thousand dollars um, not bad for a few eggs. I'll take those. Um, like I said, everything everything helps, right? We've got some good little productions going. If it's not eggs, it's milk. If it's not milk, it's fertilizer. If it's not fertilizer, it's tomatoes. And if it's not that, it's whiskey. So uh, all of that stuff, of course, very helpful. Um, let's just park this here. We'll run it back later. And we will go and f fire back up the combine here. This was doing a brilliant job the other day. So. I am going to get him to get his job done. We were using it with GPS rather than running course play with it. Um, this combine is absolutely fantastic. Absolutely loving it. So we will get things fired up and we will see you when this field is done.
Okay, we've got a little bit left of the field to do here. I spotted this really cool thing on the back of here, actually. I think Argsy may have taken a trip over when we've not been uh, paying attention and written wash me on the back of my combine. Um, very apt, I know, for my uh, my total inability to keep my equipment clean. But uh, it is what it is, right? I still stand by my point that uh, dirty equipment is happy equipment. I don't trust these guys that have super sparkling clean kit all the time. <laughs> so we'll get this done. We have got about 40% of the tank full. As you can see if I turn on the HUD. Um, so we'll just have these two little rows to gather up. We'll get this straight down to the distillery and we'll get it up and running and get the uh, get the wheels in motion there and then, uh, like I said before hopefully the sunflowers will be ready to go so uh, yeah, we can dive straight into them we need to, we don't even need to swap headers we've got the right header on for those um, I may give it a little bit of a clean in a service it has done two big fields since uh, since we started the barley in the live stream on Wednesday and now this uh, corn as well so just to make sure that everything's running we're not going to lose any yield um, that's always a tip with your combine make sure it's fully repaired you definitely lose yield if your header and your combine are uh, requiring a repair now looking down in the bottom corner there you can see that the repair on the combines are all right and I'm assuming the header's not bad either but it's always good to check I think makes more sense to check and what I might do for this last little bit is just turn off the uh, GPS and we'll capture it at the angle that uh, is most practical rather than going up and down um, okay we will see you unloading at the truck great there we go we ended up with 47% uh, left in the combine so uh, we'll power that down we'll jump on the truck let's see it's hopefully going to take all of this we've got 85 percent in the truck now if i remember correctly from this field we get about 90 odd percent uh, so it's virtually a full trailer load from this field um which is great uh there it goes last little bits in there 93 94 percent 95% perfect okay well let's shut the combine off close the pipe and switch it off and we will run the straight to the distillery so we will see you there okay here we are like I said um, once this goes in it should just kick in see there we have 93,000 litres of barley too. Now I don't believe the ratios are one to one so I think we use corn a little bit quicker than we use uh, barley. But that is in. That is in. What we'll do is jump into Global Company as well. I'm going to check how much water we have. Um, water, 34,000 litres of water as well. We might just top that up a little bit take that up to maybe around about 50,000 litres when it costs us $1,800 um, but that should see us through this whole process with this batch he says hopefully so there we go maize and barley first few bottles of the next batch getting ready to appear already look at that doesn't take long at all and hopefully we should give us at least 8 to 10 pallets worth, which is uh, not to be sniffed at. Okay, um, let's head back to the farm with this, because we need this for where our sunflowers are. Now, just looking at sunflower prices now, at $616 per thousand litres. Make keep an eye on that, see if that just moves in the next little while. It's either at its lowest or its highest. I would say that's probably about accurate for its top so we just need to watch that it's not going to drop anytime soon. Everything else looks like it's dropping at the moment other than barley. 
so uh, it might have just reached its peak price and then be heading down so like i said we'll keep an eye on that make sure that uh, we get a good price for uh, for our sunflowers it is a cash crop so we want to make as much from it as we possibly can and the other thing we need to do is go and bale that corn straw of course while we're here we better just check on our greenhouse all is looking well here um, we could do with topping everything up but we'll not worry about that now everything's still in the green so that is fine and of course over here our fertilizer production as well there's a good amount of fertilizer in there as well so things are looking up right let's head back to the farm it's getting towards the end of the day now so uh, we'll just have to make a decision about what we do next okay here we are back out the yard um, there's the sunflowers so what I'm going to do I'll just park the truck here I think and we will check them I'm not convinced they're ready I think they maybe need just another day yeah there we go growth sunflowers are still growing you can see them pointing at the sun though I always think that's a nice touch in the game that they move with the sun really nice but if they're still growing that gives us a little bit of time to get that corn stalk bales off the field so what I'll do we'll jump in the big tractor which should still be hooked up to the uh, baler and we'll uh, run that down to the field and get them bales quickly okay I just emptied out uh, a grass bale it was 90 something percent done in the back of this I could have left it in there and we would have got one grass bale after that but it seemed a bit pointless and we would have lost a little bit of our corn stalk straw so um, better to clear it out than uh, than waste a little bit of the uh, potential money in this so we'll just pop this up to the field um, and we'll see you there okay combine out of the way let's jump back in here and get sorted right um, I will pop this on a little time lapse and we will see you in a very short amount of time I hope Okay, we are nearly done. I'm just doing a little bit of a reverse up here to make sure that uh, we capture this bit. I don't want to miss any, but uh, we'll capture this. And we will head down to the end of this row. And uh, then we'll quickly grab these and get them straight over to the bale sale point, which luckily is literally a few metres further up the road. So we'll get that sold today. It is coming up to 5pm. I don't think the uh, sunflowers are going to ripen enough tonight, so they will be a job for the first thing in the morning. So as soon as these sold, we can put our feet up and relax for the rest of the day. Okay, we'll see you when these are all done. So there we go. We've just emptied the bales out. We'll get this folded up. There we go. That is good to go back to the yard. So we will um, let him go and uh, we will go and pick these bales up. Right, we'll jump into the new Julian Modding International. And our old bale trailer, because I don't think we've got that, t that many bales on this field that we need to take the big one down. So we'll get these picked up and we'll head along to the bale sale point. The 
there we go, there's the bale sell point at the barn there. So we'll just run these in and get them very quickly sold. Fingers crossed there's been no fluctuation in the price, but uh, it is what it is. It's just additional income really off the field. Um, it would have been interesting to see what the corn and barley would have sold for on its own without uh, without being turned into whiskey. I always wonder that. Um, there we go. 30,000. 30,000 dollars from selling bales. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. So, with that done, we will send this guy back to the yard as well, I think on auto drive, and we will grab the combine. Get him back as well. And get this machinery all sorted, and uh, we'll... Uh, I think we'll call it there for the night and uh, start afresh in the morning when hopefully the sunflower is ready to go. Well, there we go, there's the combine heading back and we will follow him back down here with the truck. Okay, while we wait for the combine to head back we are just loading up the eggs again that were overflow from the pallet last time. There we go. We will leave the truck there. There's no point in taking him anywhere else. We do have to sell these onions at some point and uh, we've got a fair bit of kit here lined up in the yard. In fact, there we go. It's a convoy. Now, I am going to fold up the baler here and I am going to pop it here like so. And give a little bit of a clean. Also with this guy, let's turn his auto drive off. Okay, it's done it itself because he reached the end point and we'll do it for this guy who's just a little bit short of the end point. But again, we will wash the combine before we jump into doing the sunflowers. Right, let's get this all clean. We'll pop it in our new shed. go first implement in the shed plenty more to come right, we'll leave him here as well we'll finish cleaning that kit and we will see you guys bright and breezy in the morning just stopping there to show you that we made 18 grand from the biogas overnight as well which is always nice I've forgotten about that we tipped our manure in there earlier in the day but uh, nice to make a bit of money out of it. Good morning, good morning. Hope you all slept well. We did need that extra night. And as you can see, the sunflowers have gone from their bright colour to this colour, which is them all dried out, ready to be harvested. So... We will jump straight in the harvester and get those sorted. As you can see, you gave it a nice clean last night. All ready for this morning. We're just going to check it for repairs. Make sure that it is optimally ready as possible. Combine is fine. And the header was fine as well, to be honest. But there's no harm in just giving them a little bit of a top-up in terms of repairs. Okay. Let's get over here and get things started.
Oh, the combine is running well. It's got about 65% in the tank. Yep, ticking up nicely. So, what we're going to do, we're going to head over to the distillery because that whiskey has been running through the night. I think we'll probably be close to having uh, a few cases to sell. So, let's jump over there and see what's happening there. So here we are, as I suspected. We have got a full house here. So we need to do some loading to make some space. We've still got about 25% of our barley and corn still to use up. So we might as well at least move these onto the truck. Now, before I run off and sell them, I'm just going to park it over here. I'm going to check the price. Optimal price is around about $2,000 per thousand litres. And there we go, there's our price at the moment, 1945, and it's on its way down. So, with that in mind, now is the perfect time to sell, to be honest, because it's only going to drop, and it does drop to as low as a thousand. So, um, we should really get this done and dusted right now, um, because it's only going to go down for the next wee while. And I would like to uh, get rid as quickly as we can. Now we've also got the usual shenanigans with this uh, auto load and this sell point, so we'll see how we get on. But uh, yes, there could be a good little bit of money in this. So let's just remember what we've got at the moment in the bank: seven hundred and fifty-two thousand, nearly seven hundred and fifty-three thousand. So we'll uh, be able to work out, even if it goes in in little bits, we'll be able to work out how much we sell in the end. So here we go. Let's get ourselves lined up. I'm going to try a different way of doing it again this time to see if it works a little bit better. But uh, 10 pallets of whiskey. That's got to be a nice little earner, hasn't it? So there's our unload point. Let's see if we can get that nicely on the unload point there hit the Y button and looks like it's not unloaded well there's 20,000 there already so that's good we might have to load it back up it kind of half loaded didn't it and then decided it didn't want to go any further so we've sold some of it not all of it oh my goodness there's four pallets there as well which I completely forgot about from last time as well use those as well so we'll keep zigzagging backwards and forwards until we get these sold there's another few cases or another four pallets going Let's see if we can get these to work as well so another 30,000 there there's another two pallets at the front completely forgot about these what a result Okay, there we go, there are six kind of part pallets on here. Try again with these, there we go. A few more going now. I'll let them do their thing. It appears to be these two middle pallets that don't seem to want to unload. But uh, what I'll do... A bit of old school... Um, jiggery pokery there, move them into a decent place and there we go, they've triggered so we'll let them sell as well <laughs> that's an insane <laughs> amount of money that is an insane amount of money we have just got rid of those four happy, happy days so 860,000 in the bank there well worth selling that well worth selling that ok, let's drop this back over at the distillery and we will uh, hopefully be back on the farm in time to unload the combine. Right enough, he had just finished and was waiting to be unloaded. I will come around and tidy some of these bits up at the end. So we will get this guy unloaded over here. Roll the truck up underneath here I think. So we'll get this started to unload here and uh, we will get back into the field. 
So, I think what we'll do is call it there for this episode. Once again, the money's uh, the money's coming in, isn't it? The money is doing well. We've also got some milk there that we need to sell. And uh, the fertiliser, I'm sure, will be uh, getting to a good point where we're going to sell that too. So, there we go. We'll drop in our uh, sunflowers there into the truck. And we'll send this guy back on his merry way around the field. So, there we go for now. Thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, we're getting close to a million. We're getting close to a million. Can we do it before FS22 comes out? Okay, from me, the Farm Sim Guy, thank you so, so much. I will see you all again very soon. Bye for now.